YouTube, YouTube. Back at you again with another video. In this video, uh, we're gonna be talking about <clears throat> the intake box. Real quick, I got a couple of messages on, on my email. I had somebody email me a few times and another couple of times I got someone to email me or tell or message, put on the comment section on one of the videos. Uh, it was about the intake filter on how often do I clean it? Well, actually, um, because it's a racing air filter, I actually clean it every 1,500 miles. Um, so that answers that question. But in this video, we're gonna take the intake box off and then we're gonna wrap it in gold, gold tape. The reason why I wanna wrap it in gold tape, this thing has a lot of benefits that I did not know until I did some research. Uh, I actually um, saw this on a bike at the bike night and I, I did not know what it was and the person that owns the bike uh, was very standoffish. So I said, you know what, let me just look into it myself. And thank goodness I did. So basically what this does is it reflects up to 80% of heat, which is crazy, um, up to temperatures of 100, uh, 850 Fahrenheit of radiant temperature is lightweight and flexible, state-of-the-art poly, poly polymer, thin for minimum main, minimum clearance, so the tape is very, very thin. This row is actually 30 feet by two inches. Um, strong adhesive holes, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm gonna put this on my intake. If, if this is something you wanna do to your bike, I'll show you how easy it is. All you need is some scissors. Um, yeah, have an idea how you wanna roll the, roll, unroll the tape. So to get the gas tank off, I'm gonna take the gas tank off in order to take the air box out. And also, if you wanna know how to take out your air box, this is a video you should take, pay attention to as well. Um, so basically to take it out, you wanna take off this screw here. Wait, first you gotta take off the gas tank. So you wanna take this off, these two off, which is five millimeters, and this is a four. On both sides, obviously take off the seat. So, ah, I just locked. And someone asked me, what is this? This is a magnet. Um, cause a lot of times when I ride, it doesn't show clear on that side. So let me go around to the other side. Oh, it's not on this side at all, but it's basically a magnet. And what I do is I put my phone here when I'm riding, um, it holds my phone in place. The windscreen does keep the wind off the phone. So the, the phone doesn't lift up when I'm riding fast. Um, very neat thing. The magnet idea to me is a whole lot better. It's a lot cleaner when you look at the bike, if it's just standing still. Um, Another thing I did do, I did tape up the uh, rims. I just added the one, the one stripe on the on the rim. So if you look here, it has that one stripe. So a lot of times when I'm when I'm trying to check my tire pressure, I hate having to like look for the valve stem on the tire. So what I did was I put it on the exact opposite side. So if I can see that tape, I know which way to roll, and then there's the valve stem. It's uh, directly opposed from there. So there's a valve stem and I right across from it is the actual red tape on both the front and the back. Uh -huh. So there's the red tape there. And then if you look across, there's the valve stem. All right, so let's take off this gas tank, shall we? So I'm gonna go ahead and take off these two bolts. This, this part right here peels away after you take the seat off. Please don't ever forget to disco the battery. It's the most important part. Um, so now I'm at this point. I took the gas tank off. I took the seat off. I took the side covers off. That's all I've done so far. So what you want to do, you don't have to do it the way I'm about to do it, but I'm doing it this way so that way I can see what condition the air filter is in. I'm going to disconnect the uh, temp, air temp sensor, and then I'm going to take off eight screws. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's number eight inside of that hole, which is right there. It's not going to show. All right, so then throttle body uh, screws in place. And it's literally right, right uh, there. That screw right there is what's holding it in place. I'm gonna touch it with the screwdriver, it's this one. That one screw is holding all four throttle bodies in place. So let me just show you real quick. Let me take it off and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I'll show you the size of the Allen head, but I'm gonna loosen this screw real quick and uh, by the way I was wrong so it's two on each side so this side is holding two throttle bodies and the other side is holding two throttle bodies all right I think I got that side loosened enough so then you're gonna come over to this side and 
what you want to release is this, this, the sensor, and then the whole thing will come out. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so now we have the temperature sensor disabled, but disconnected, and then we have these two disconnected. So the other one is literally right here. So once you get it in there, you just turn it off the throttle bodies. Which is a really cool design. You don't have to do them individually. I appreciate that, Callie. I'm just showing you that you can take it off without actually taking off that top part. Um, and then on this, I gotta loosen this just a little bit more. I believe it's ready to come out though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take it out. Let me just see. Put these to the side. Uh, wait, I gotta take off this 10 mil. So let me take off this 10 mil real quick. All right, and oh yeah. Whole thing's come right, whole thing comes right out. So like people be like, man, it's so hard to take off the intake box. Nope, you don't have to take off this top part. And this is where we're gonna make gold today. This whole bottom part right here. It's gonna be completely gold. Get some of that heat off of my... Um... Also, as you can see, the intake filter is dirty. Some leaves in there. Um, I'm gonna wrap the entire bottom of that. All right, so also, if you wanna change out your spark plugs on this bike, they're so easy to get to. They're literally right underneath the intake box. They're right here. One. One, two, three, four. They're literally right here. You have access to your intake box. So no more excuses. Oh, I can't get to my intake box. Yes, you can. They're right here. I mean, not my intake box, my uh, my spark plugs. And I take them out. You take off these connectors, put a screwdriver here, and then pull up, and they come right out. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, YouTube. So in my opinion, right, if you have this intake filter in your bike, I recommend you do this every um, 1,500 miles. So the last time I did a, a I cleaned the oil, the oil off the intake filter, uh, it was it, it was exactly like it is today. So let me show you what it looks like after 1,500 miles. So you're gonna get this, and you're gonna get this. See how it's turning black? So I'm gonna clean this out and it's been 1500 miles. So if I'd have waited 3000 miles, it'll look way worse than it look right now. But I don't wait to 3000 miles. I do it every 1500, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, 1500 miles. So if you get this intake filter, 1500 miles. And don't douse it with oil, just saying. All right, so now that I got the intake filter clean, some people say that it's not supposed to look this color, it's supposed to look like reddish, but that's actually incorrect. It's supposed to look this color because when you spray on the uh, air filter oil, it does come out a little reddish. So I got all of the oil and dirt out of this guy and also the intake box. So I'm gonna go get some uh, rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna wipe down the bottom of the intake box and I'm gonna put on the uh, gold tape. But before I do that, let me spray on some of this uh, air filter oil, which is in this can. Uh, this is the type I use and go from there. All right, YouTube, so I finally wrapped the entire bottom intake box. I still have some left, but I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna wrap the other side next, but the whole thing is wrapped. Um, took me quite some time to do, but I like how it's coming out so far. So we got cooler air coming into the engine. Now I'm gonna put the filter back, put the box back on, and in a couple of more days, I'll, I'll do the other part. So I've already sprayed the oil. It's bluish. You know what it looks like when you have this part. Um, so yeah, so let me put everything back together and uh, that should be the video.
All right, YouTube, so this is the finished product. We got a gold, completely gold intake box, ready to go. Um, yeah, so let me just show you a quick all around view of what it looks like. And I just dropped temperature on my intake. So I'm gonna do a quick start, let the bike warm up, take it for a spin. So I thank you guys for watching. Hope that you have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs>